Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis based on the KT syllabus and we are on module 3 and today we are going to discuss the formulation of load flow equations using Y-bus matrix that is admittance matrix. So the load flow equations can be formed using either the mesh or node basis equations. Okay, that is uh, the load flow equations uh, mainly formed using this mesh or node okay however from the viewpoint of computer time and memory the nodal admittance formulation using the nodal voltages as the independent variables is the most economic one that is mainly uh, we will be adopting the uh, nodal voltage analysis okay so we know that the node based matrix equation is y bus into v is equal to i that we have already learned where y bus is the bus admittance matrix of order n by n v is the bus that is node voltage matrix of order n by 1 and i is the source current matrix of order n by 1 and the corresponding equation okay can be written in the form as shown below that is i1 i2 up to i n okay in between we are considering in another uh, term i p okay i p for the analysis purposes and also the y bus matrix can be written as y11 y12 up to y1n and here also we are considering an p term additional uh, p term that is y1p and uh, corresponding columns y21 y31 yp1 yn1 like that okay so this is an yn matrix and the voltage matrix is also v1 v2 and we are considering a vp in between that vn okay so here the ip is the current injected to bus p if you are having a bus P, currently injected to the bus P is denoted as IP and VP is the voltage of bus P. Okay. And from the equation, this matrix equation, the current IP can be expressed as IP. IP will be equal to YP1 into V1, YP2 into V2, extra YPP into VP plus extra YPN into VN. YPN into VN. That's the equation we are just a matrix multiplication only we are considering this element only okay so from that we can write the uh, ip equation as sigma q equal to 1 to p minus 1 okay that is we are uh, considering this ypp into vp independently okay uh, sigma q is equal to 1 to uh, p minus 1 ypq vq okay that is just before this term okay just p minus 1 term up to p minus 1 term plus ypp p uh, vp this term plus sigma q is equal to p plus 1 up to n y p q v q okay y p q v q that is from this y p p v p from after this term to y p n p n y p n v n okay so i p is written like this okay also uh, uh, we can write okay we can write this uh, <coughs> uh, y p that is i p s current i p s sigma q is equal to 1 to 1 to n y p q v q okay but uh, here we are considering the y p p into v p term uh, independently for the analysis purposes okay that is we will be uh, discussing uh, two different methods of analysis for that purpose we are writing this term i p okay that is by splitting the entire equation into three terms that is q equal to 1 to p minus 1 one time then y p p into v p and after y p p into v p up to n that is uh, p, uh, from q is equal to p plus 1 to n okay so i p can be written as like this and also we are considering the complex power as we know that the complex power is expressed as s p okay complex power of bus p we are considering bus p or not p okay and uh, p p is the real power of bus p and q p is the reactive power of bus p so s p can be written as p p plus j q p also we have learned in the first module itself sp can be written as vp into ip star ip conjugate okay so uh, this vp into ip conjugate is equal to pp plus jqp vp into ip conjugate is equal to pp plus jqp so the load flow problem can be handled more conveniently by the use of ip okay rather than this ip star that is ip conjugate okay so for con uh, having a value of ip we are just making the conjugate of all the terms that is vp into ip conjugate all conjugate plus e is equal to p p plus j q p all conjugate okay we are taking the conjugate of on the lhs and rhs 
so we will get vp conjugate ip is equal to the conjugate of P, this one pp minus jqp is pp pp plus jqp is pp minus jqp here that is the conjugate of this term it is pp minus jqp so ip can be written as pp minus jqp by vp conjugate okay so this is the equation for ip so we are equating this equation with the uh, actual equation we got that is ip this equation also the equation for ip so we are just comparing this equation with the latest equation this one so we will get sigma q equal to 1 p minus 1 y p q v q plus y p p v p plus sigma q is equal to p plus 1 to n y p q v q is equal to this one v p minus j q p by v p conjugate okay so this is the uh, basic equation so from that we are going to discuss two different methods for the load flow analysis okay load flow problems so among that the first one is the goes or goes settle method okay goes settle method of a load flow problem so here this equation this equation two points is it can be written as like this okay that is from this term by pp into vp okay he is uh, uh, keep on the uh, ls side and all other terms is moving to the rhs side so we will get just rearranging that time vp into ypp into vp is equal to pp minus jqp by vp conjugate minus uh, two times okay that is transferred from the left side to right side and uh, vp we will get just moving this ypp to the rhs side we will get one by ypp into this entire time or we can return this term as vp is equal to one by ypp pp minus jqp by vp conjugate minus here the value of q is varied from 1 to p minus 1 then p plus 1 to n okay so we, we can return as minus sigma q equal to 1 to n by pq vq except q is equal to p okay here the q is equal to p time is not there because it is in the left side so in the right side q is equal to p time is not there okay q is equal to p is not there so we have to uh, just eliminate that time okay that is q naught is equal to p okay by considering that we can write this equation we can modify this equation as like this minus sigma q equal to 1 to n y p q v q except q is equal to p so this equation okay that is uh, 2.7 okay or we can uh, say the 2.8 both are same okay so this equation is called load flow equation for goes or goes serial method okay so uh, as per we are going on the goes serial method the corresponding load flow equation is like this and uh, another method is newton raphson method okay newton raphson method more accurate we can say that the newton raphson method is a more accurate method so uh, here the according to the newton raphson method the equation 2.6 okay this equation this equation can be written as like this this is pp minus jqp is equal to vp conjugate in sigma q equal to 1 to n y p q v q that is here we are not splitting this entire sometime into three that is here we have split the entire sum time into three that is q equal to 1 to p minus 1 then y p p into v p then q is equal to p plus 1 to n okay so we can simply return as q is equal to 1 to n y p q v q okay that is uh, we are considering here okay that is p p minus j q p is equal to v p conjugate sigma q equal to 1 to n y p q v q so for analysis newton raphson analysis we are uh, consider we are not splitting the entire time into three we are okay combining that entire time so here we are substituting for vp is equal to ep plus j fp vq is equal to eq plus j fq ypq is equal to gpq minus j bpq where ep and fp ep and fp are the real and imaginary time of vp and eq and fq are the real and imaginary part of vq and gpq and bpq are the conductance and susceptance of the admittance matrix ypq okay admittance ypq so we are substituting this time in this one in this 2.8 we are going to substitute that time okay so we will get pp minus jqp pp minus jqp is equal to pp minus jqp is equal to instead of this vp star okay we are writing ep plus jfp star that is instead of this vp conjugate we are writing ep plus jfp conjugate here you can see ep plus jfp conjugate sigma q equal to 1 to n 1 to n y p q y p q can be written as g p q minus j b p q g p q minus j b p q and v q 
वी क्यू कैन पी प्लस ई क्यू प्लस जे एफ क्यू सो हियर ई क्यू प्लस जे एफ क्यू दैट इज वी पी वी क्यू ओके सो द इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एस लाइक दिस एंड एम दैट वी नो दैट द कॉन्जुगेट टाइम इट इज इट बिकम्स ई पी माइनस जे एफ पी हियर ओके एंड सिक्मा क्यू इक्वल टू वन टू एन जस्ट वी आर क्लोज मल्टीपलाइंग ईच टाइम यू विल गेट जी ई क्यू ई क्यू इंटू जी पी क्यू माइनस जे ई क्यू इंटू बी पी क्यू प्लस जे एफ क्यू इंटू जी पी क्यू माइनस जे स्क्वेर एफ क्यू इंटू बी पी क्यू ओके वी आर जस्ट रि रिटर्न द टेम एस लाइक दिस ओके एंड हियर वी आर जस्ट splitting the real and imaginary terms okay as diff two different terms here so sigma q equal to 1 to n this e q and g p q is the uh, real term and here this j square becomes minus 1 so the end term becomes plus f q into b p q so here we are writing plus f q into b p q this is the real term and two other terms are containing the j term so plus j okay we are just differentiating the uh, real and imaginary term together okay so j into f q g p q f q g p q minus e q b p q minus e q b p q okay and after that uh, this here the variable is q q is changing from 1 to n so here e p minus j f p can be uh, considered as a constant okay it is not depending upon this q value so it can be taken inside this sigma so sigma q equal to 1 to n e p minus j f p into this entire term okay and again we are cross multiplying each term together okay with the new uh, coming e p minus j f p okay and after that uh, we are writing the real terms together and uh, imaginary terms together like this okay that is the last equation we will get it as sigma q equal to 1 to n e p into e q g p q plus f q b p q plus f p into f q g p q minus e q b p q minus the imaginary term j into sigma q equal to 1 to n f p into e q g p q plus f q b p q minus e p into f q b p q f q b p q minus e p into f q g p q minus e q b p q okay this is a large term but it's a symbol that is just we are cross multiplying each and every term together that's it okay and uh, we are just arranging the real terms together and we are writing the imaginary term together okay that's all uh, not so much complexity uh, in this uh, equation okay and after that uh, on separating the real and imaginary parts we are naming each term okay the real part we are considering it as pq that is sigma q equal to 1 this term okay the first term we are considering as our pq and the second term the imaginary term that is j into this one okay sigma q equal to 1 to n this entire term we are considering it as our qq okay and also from the initial equation that is uh, we know that this vp okay equation for vp is ep plus jfp and if you are writing if you are taking the uh, actual the magnitude of this equation that is mod vp okay mod vp square equal to we can written as mod vp square is equal to ep square plus fp square okay that is also written here that is mod vp square is equal to ep plus ep square plus fp square so we are having three equations these three equations all these three equations are considered as the load flow equations of newton raphson method okay so for newton raphson method we are having three load flow equations the pq qq and vp square in the case of gauss seidel method we are having the uh, equation load flow equation as like this this vp only okay so that's about the basics of the diff two different methods we are using for load flow studies and we will discuss in detail okay in detail the iteration method for this gauss seidel and newton raphson method later so thank you